Hello, uh, my name is Michelle Reitler and I'm the science teacher. If you don't know me, you will soon. And I wanted to go over with you the online textbooks. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, let's assume you've logged in to your online textbooks. Um, I've logged in as a test student, so I see all of the textbooks. But bear with me, I'm going to go into chemistry because it has more in it at the moment. For biology folks, just follow along. It's identical the way it works. But I do want you to understand that for biology, you need to understand that um, the content for only chapters 1 and 2 have been assigned because that's all that's currently available from Holt. They are getting the, the next set of materials open on uh, late September and I will go ahead and assign for the rest of the, uh, the quarter at that point. But the first two chapters will cover you through uh, the end of September and um, that will be good enough. Okay, so for chemistry, uh, let's go ahead and go into your online textbook. And you can see here that you have also view assignments and your progress reports as uh, an option. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the online textbook. And some of you may have logged in and taken a look at it already. And you can see here it's got kind of an introduction here. Um, let's say we're going to start in chapter one, which you do. And when you hit chapter one, and I don't bother with the chapter opener, although that's an easy way for you to go back and look at a section that you may have wanted to review. So you hit go, and it'll bring you right to what the textbook looks like. And uh, I apologize, I have slow speed here, um, but it is coming in. So let me try the next page. Okay, and you can see this is exactly what your textbook um, looks like, if, as if it was a paper textbook. Now, a couple of things you need to understand. You can bookmark a page that you need to go back to or has important information. You can highlight things that are important. So you can say, ooh, I like purple. I assume that's purple. Bear with me. And I like this section. And then it's like, no, I don't like that one. So I can click the X and get rid of it. So that's another thing that you can look at. You can take notes and move your notes window around and take notes on this page. If it helps you to keep notes, this is an ideal way to do it. For those of you that are pencil and paper people, I understand you can keep your notes in a separate section. But this is nice because it keeps it with the book and it keeps it with the individual page. So you can save those or delete them. And also you can search the web on more content. So that's kind of nice too. Now let's take a look at the Student Resources tab. The Student Resources tab changes for every chapter. We're still in chapter one. You can see here there's an audio summary. Now for those of you who are Spanish speakers, um, some of the books have Spanish, some of the chapters have Spanish, and some of the chapters have English only. And in this case, it's English only. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, that's what we've got to go with. So you can listen to an audio summary. There are worksheets, which are study guides or chapter worksheets. You can see they're in document form or PDF. If you just click on the hyperlink, it'll bring up the PDF. But the document allows you to write in them and then turn them in if you need to. And then the labs here. Now the labs are from the book and some of them are or are not appropriate based on home use. I have made that decision for you and I'll show you where you find that. The Student Premium tab has more advanced content, more extensive content for each chapter. And the Student Premium chat um, has an interactive reader, reader and here's Spanish for you and also audio if you need that. Problem solving. In other chapters, for example, chapter two, I'm going to hit go on this one so you can see it. In the problem solving section, you can see it's got learn it, solve it, sample problems, and interactive demonstration. And what this is, is it's actually a guide talking to you and telling you how to go through each of the sample problems that are in the ebook. The, e um, the solve it shows you how to do each one. And then you can sometimes have sample problems, and sometimes you don't. And um, interactive demonstration does the same thing, and you can kind of watch demos of the different concepts that are in the chapter. You can see also that it has animations and simulations. 
Um, these are really good for understanding some of the concepts, especially in chemistry and biology. There's a lot of stuff going on that you can't see. And so the animations and visual concepts really help you with that. Now, biology, by the way, you don't have a problem solving section and that's okay, but you do have an interactive reader and you do have animations and simulations. Additionally, you have videos. Um, those are just good to watch to understand. Um, in chemistry, it's called why it matters. In biology, it's often called that's amazing, although there are other videos as well. That's amazing is just a type of video series. Multimedia labs and activities, we're going to spend a lot of time in the virtual labs, and you can see each one has a worksheet. And sometimes the web resources. The web resources are much more developed in biology than they are in chemistry, so sorry about that. And also you have an interactive review. So um, sometimes I ask you to complete the concept map. Well, you can see here it's just a page. And I can drag things over and say, OK, well, I want this one to go there. Nope, doesn't work. I want that one. Nope, that doesn't work. Um, let's see, to make results. How about that? To communicate results. There we go. Yay. OK, so you can see it's not letting it stick if it's not right. Um, try and do it without just randomly dragging and clicking. I wasn't really looking at it, so um, I was randomly clicking and dragging. Um, but try and actually look at the concept map. If you do need to take a print screen of this, there's a button on your keyboard called PRTSC or SCR, depending on your keyboard. And you just take a print screen and then you hit Control plus the V button, V as in Victor and to a Word document, and that will print your screen, and it will show exactly what your screen showed. Okay, so that's some kind of uh, overviews. Now let's take a look. We're going to go back to the home page. Okay, nope, I want to go back to Holt Online Learning. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to show you the assignments now. The assignments you can take a look here, and this will give you the assignments that I have put in place for you. Now keep in mind that your parent um, may assign you additional content, but these are the things that are required to get you out of the portfolio um, submission links. Okay, this gets you out of the portfolio stuff that you have to do on your own. This, this replaces that. So you have to do all of the assignments that are assigned to you. So let's say we want um, next week's assignments. And here they are. And these are the ones that I've already set up. Now I want you to take a look at the details. And this is going to uh, give you, if you look at the note right here, it tells you where to find it. It says, in the Student Premium tab on your online textbook, complete the worksheet that accompanies the Chapter 1 Multimedia Lab on Separating Substances. You will submit a scan of your answers in the Portfolio Upload link in the Moodle Classroom. Okay, so that means that you have to actually turn this stuff in. For chemistry folks, for the first upload, um, it will be 12 different files because there's four chapters we're covering and there's three things per chapter. Um, for biology, it's only six files because we cover um, longer chapters, so it takes longer amount of time. So just keep that in mind, um, you know, pace yourself accordingly. And it has a due date, and I will be grading them based on those due dates. So come 9-11, I am looking in Moodle, and I'm looking at those grades, and I will actually put in your, um, I will put in your assignment uh, grade back into your online textbook. And that is where you would look at your progress report. That brings up another tab and that will tell you, let's take a look at all of them, and if you have more than one textbook this is where you would select. You know, I want my chemistry class. So here's my chemistry class. And this gives you the different ones. There are also assessments built in. And you can take a look at those as well. And I will build in those assessments for you. Um, there are section quizzes for each one. So those are things that you need to do. 
Okay, so I'm going to close this window. And that's base, the basics of what you need to do. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to see me during office hours, which are Wednesdays or Fridays from 11 to 12. Um, or you can call me at 208-589-9877 uh, during, during my work hours, which are 8 to 12, Monday through Friday. I'll be happy to help you with any issues you may have. Have a good day. Thank you.